Hello, hello, all of you beautiful faces. So <laughs> I have been doing these paintings and I guess this is going to end up being the first video I show you guys. I had done a video on my phone, on my new phone, and it did not come out. Well, I am doing these new acrylic pour paintings. And I, the first video I did, it did not, it cut me off partly through because I'm just learning now that my new phone will not record over 10 minutes, which I would have never got it if I knew that. But I was looking at a couple videos and I just got the idea. I said, you know what? I have done the wrapping paper on my Target boxes. Why don't I make a painting Target box? And so I went off of the color of the bottom of the box, which is that gorgeous turquoise and I decided to choose colors that I thought that would look amazing with it and so you can see here's all the paints poured together that's what all the colors mixed together looks like after you're done pouring but I want to show you I'm so amazed at how this came out so I got to get these drip marks off over here and but look at how gorgeous this is it is coming out like incredibly i know this is totally i'm sorry i'm just showing you the side over there here's all my my little my beauty table has turned now turned into a craft table but so um oh gosh i i apparently got paint on this chair and I didn't notice it. Well, here's my chair. And yes, obviously I got some, I dripped some paint and then sat on it. So now I've probably got purple on the back of my legs somewhere because I'm in short pajamas. But <laughs> sorry about that moving all over you guys. But so it is still now really wet, but I'm going to come in close. Let me get another light on the situation too. There we go. Now I've brought another light over. And now you can see all of the colors and all of the cells up close. I just hope and pray that this comes out. You can see here on the side, the paint started to run off too much off the side. So I had to add a little paint, but I'm going to just leave it because the color underneath the box will actually blend. So um, I'm going to just leave it. And what I'm going to do is when it's done, I'm going to shellac the inside of the box. And then I'm going to also shellac the outside of it to make it last. And for my first one, oh my gosh, I'm just in awe at how perfectly this lid came out. And so now I'm like, now I've got all these ideas of what I want to do. I'm not going to just do canvases, but I am going to do um, some, geez, some boxes as well. So I'm going to get some wood boxes, but I'll show you a couple pieces that I have not glazed yet that I have done. Here is one of them. This is on a canvas board. This is an 8x10 canvas board. This one came out absolutely gorgeous. This is a pour and swipe. And then I have this one, which is still drying, but I absolutely love the way it came out. And this is a 4x6, I think, um, canvas board. What I love about these sizes is that you can frame them and mat them and hang them, and I love artwork that's framed and matted. That's just me. I love the clean look. I like them both ways, but what I love about the canvas boards is that you can mat these and make it look really nice. Here is another piece that I have that is still drying that I absolutely love how this one came out as well with the burgundies and the, it's going to look so much better when it's glazed. See, you can see when it's wet, the boldness of color now, when this gets the glaze on it, all those burgundies and colors are really going to pop again. So it dries very, very matte. And then like the silver is going to come out to be really super amazing in this. So I'm like just so excited. Here is another one. I'm sorry, my room is a mess. 
this is when you this is like a dip so you put the can the paints onto a piece of paper foil or whatever and then you press the canvas into it and all these little cells come up because of the silicone this one came out pretty nice I have a bunch of these but I just wanted to show you guys these I'm absolutely just this is if this comes out I'm going to be just blown away because you don't ever know when they dry how it's going to dry if it's going to dry normal or what but I'm just in love with how this came out so I hope you guys enjoy seeing this you're going to be seeing a lot more of my crafting side you're going to get a little bit of beauty in art a little bit of beauty in makeup a little bit of beauty in the world you're going to get a little bit, bit of beauty in everything that life has to offer but there's beauty in everything so I love you guys I hope you enjoy this and let me know what you think in the comments below I pray that God keeps you safe in this crazy world we live in. Bye.